Louisville is very different. It has very different people. We also are really clear about what part of town you live in. So there's the West End, East End, so it, it, it very much equates as black families mostly live here, white families through covenants and other things could only live in these places. And then the South End is sort of more blue collar. There are some people in our community who can't read. We have people in our community who are deaf or blind. We also have this robust and thriving community of immigrants, refugees, for people who are, are foreign born. There's a saying um, that uh, when, the, when the general community gets a cold, the minority community gets a fever, so to speak. Unfortunately, that was also true for COVID as well, too. There is a huge void in the West End as far as resources um, from food, um, from transportation, um, I would say from adequate health care. Louisville is not unusual in that um, lack of access to health and health care for communities of color is something that's been built into our fabric. People who didn't have access to those things, we want to bring into conversations so that we can learn, so that we can do our work better. And fortunately, we had some incredible um, partners in the community that we were able to just look to and convene and tap into their expertise and their resources um, in helping us do just that. Our main community is the one with less resources. And that's what, how we try to reach them is through uh, Spanish-speaking media. We have some access to individuals that Louisville Metro may not have. We probably were able to reach people who didn't necessarily consider the vaccine or consider hearing more information. So even having individuals in the community, like some of the doctors that were on the panel, and they recognize those names, I feel like that was so important. The idea of going to the communities where people live and worship um, was a novel idea, but it was the right idea. People are more likely to walk to the corner, to the neighborhood center, or to the church to get information, testing, or vaccination. Whether it was access to vaccinations or access just to information, having it in your own language delivered by somebody, you know, who understands not just the language but the culture is, was really critical. That's what those, um, those listening sessions, those testing sites, uh, those vaccination sites, that's what it opened the door to. It opened the door to us to begin to have a, a real conversation around healthcare so I applaud uh, Louisville Health and Wellness for really being bold, uh, being innovative, and, and taking that risk because that risk really did pay off. It's a reminder of the beauty, the diversity, the way we're all connected. You can't do it well alone. If one in our community is not doing well, the whole community is not doing well. So if we trust each other, if, commun if, if community organizations and governmental organizations trust each other, and the most important thing are willing to work with each other and respect each other, beautiful things can happen. For those across the nation, what they can learn from Louisville is partnership is the answer, 